This is where I get all my scripts from. Completely free. You don't have to pay for anything. You know what I mean? Everything's free. And if you have to pay for a script, don't do it. All right, what's going on, Guap Chasers? I'm back with another video. But before we get into this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on that post notification bell icon so you know when I upload any new videos to this channel. Don't forget to smash that like button. Also, I do have a Discord link in the description. So if you want to join that Discord, we almost got 200 people in the community that helps each other with the Strike Pack or the Zen. So if you need any help, everybody's willing to help in the community. Go ahead and click that link in the description and join up with us. But in this video... I'm going to be showing you guys how to install any script that you want to the Zen and also how to edit it also. So first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the website that I that I get my scripts from. And it's this right here. So just go over to the uh, Cronus website. I will have this link in the description. Also, this is where I get all my scripts from completely free. You don't have to pay for anything. You know what I mean? Everything's free, and if you have to pay for a script, don't do it because nine times out of ten, it is copy and pasted. And sometimes it's not, sometimes it is, but you never know. But this is where I get my stuff from. So, yeah. So let's just say we want to uh, install this Crescent script. So what I do is I just like copy and paste the name of the person, just go over to the Zen Studios, and just put it in right here. So, as you can see, it's already right there. And I just search it up. And as you can see, here goes his script right here. What I do after that is I just press this right here and it will go over to the compiler. So, I'm going to press it. And as you can see, it's open right here. What I prefer everyone to do is read the instructions. I know everybody don't like to read, but if it is important to read stuff like this so you know if you're doing anything right, if you're doing something wrong. So I encourage everybody to read what this stuff says before you touch anything in the script. Some scripts, you don't have to read it. You can just uh, compile it off the rip. No, actually read this script because it's a lot in the script that you have to know about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go scroll down to the stuff that we can edit. As you can see, it has big letters right here. Read this. Read it. <laughs> you know what I mean? For real though, but we're gonna keep on going down, and these buttons you can change everything. You know what I mean? So now this is the part that I want to explain right here. Every, I get a lot of questions on how do I turn this off? How do I turn that off? You know, this is the part you want to look at right here in this script, a uh, specific script. So. Let's say I want to change this in-game sensitivity. No, this is not my actual in-game sensitivity. I'm just saying, like, in this script, what he prefers you to do is turn this up way, like, three clicks more than you have in your in-game. So, let's just say I got my in-game at an 8. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this to an 11 right here. So, in order to change this, you're just going to click it, delete one of those numbers, and add a number in. And you just do that with the rest of this, the rest of these, like the rest of everything. So, say I want to change my, uh, turn my aim sensitivity correction off. You see it says zero equals off, one equals on. So, if I want to turn it off, click it, turn it to zero. That's basically it. That's all you have to do for the rest of these. I don't want to, like, keep on repeating myself and sound real repetitive trying to go through everything. But that's all you got to do. So I read me personally, I want it on, so I'm going to put that to a one. Now for uh, the dynamic sensitivity, it says right here, like I said, you have to read this stuff. It says do not combine with aim sensitivity. So if you want this on, you got to turn this off. We're going to keep on going now. So stick aim, stick aim assist, like I said, zero equals off, one equals on. I want that on. Now, this is the, uh, the aim assist shake. 22, it really don't shake. But if you add, put it like a, that at 30, it will shake like a motherfucker. But, <laughs> it'll be real though. 
Uh, I'm gonna keep that at a 22, you know. I don't like that shaking shit. Smart reload, I want that off. Enemy ping, I want it off. If I turn this off, that means I ain't gotta turn, I ain't gotta touch this. So we're gonna leave that at leave that how it is. Hair triggers, I want that on. And this is basically when switching uh recoil profile recoil is on. So when switching current state equals on. So we're just gonna leave that on. Smart thumbstick. I want this to be one. I just want easy sprint. That's it. I don't want all the extra shit. That's all you gotta do for these kind of scripts. Just go through and then just it, it just turn on and off what you want on and what you want off. That's it. Everybody plays different, so do this how you play, and this is how I play. So that is basically it for this right here. So what I would do in order to save this is I would just right click and compile. Boom. Everything is compiled. Go over to programmer. And as you can see, it's already on GPC scripts. New. And I would just drag this to any slot. As you can see, I have no slots in here. So, and that was because I hard reset it. I always hard reset before I add any scripts just to make the Zen fresh. I'm going to show you how to do that right after I do this. So, say I want to add that up in there to slot number one. After I add it, program device is going to start saving for about 10 seconds. So, we're going to sit here and wait for that. All right, so it says success. I'm done. That's all you got to do. Now, when you go over to the game, to turn it on, press the right button, the right blue button on the front of the Zen, and go to the correct slot that you just added. That's all you have to do to add scripts. To add and edit scripts is real easy. Okay, now what I'm going to show y'all is how to actually um, hard reset the Zen so when you add new scripts, it don't mess up. So... What you want to do is you want to get the USB that you plug in the top of the Zen, not the sides of the Zen, the top. Grab that USB and plug it in. So I'm unplugged the one that's on that's on the side right now. It's unplugged, and I'm gonna plug the one into the top. So I plugged it in. Before I plug it into the computer, what I'm gonna do is hold the two front blue buttons. So I'm holding the two front blue buttons, and now I'm gonna plug it into the PC. Okay, it's plugged in. Look at the Zen. It should switch to three colors and connect. Once you hear that noise on your computer, it's connected. Now you can unplug it. Now plug in the other one. And as you can see, my Zen is fresh. I still got this open because we just got done with that, but I have no scripts at all. My Zen is fresh. So that's basically how you install and edit any script in the Zen and also how to hard reset it before adding scripts to the Zen. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on that post notification bell icon and smash that like button so we can get the YouTube algorithm working and this video up in them rankings all right see y'all go up chases in another video peace